Hey everybody, welcome to Tough Guys TV. On this episode, we're going to be reviewing our room and our stay at the lovely, lovely Days Inn in, is it East Amarillo? Yeah. East Amarillo Days Inn. Get ready for a Cribs level walkthrough of this place. And here's our room number, 228. We were lucky. We got the chrome on the handle here. Lovely door. Let's give this thing a close. Nice chrome. This doesn't look like it's been, you know, pried open with a crowbar at all. Here we go. Just close that. We've got our emergency exit information. And over here, we've got a nice little closet. And they gave us a uh, an iron and an ironing board, which is cool. And over here we've got this like really nice handicap accessible sink area. They spared no expense with the fixture set here. It's high end. We can see the remnants of the old refinish. They just kind of left that. And now the this is the spa bathroom. It's a uh, it's got the curved front on the shower curtain ring, and then this is great because look, you can you can see me through it, so you can see when the murderer is in the room, when they're coming to get you in the shower, you can see them. And then, oh look, here's some lovely trim work. This is nice. Urine yellow tile. It's really, really nice. Again, great 1975 fixture set here. Some hard water. This is just, that's a great toilet. Kind of looks like a child size. But we're gonna see. Nice tile. I don't know if the grout's actually that color. It could just be like mold growth. We're not sure yet. And more about this tile, it's kind of slippery a little bit. It's kind of, kind of feels wet even when it's not wet. Don't know if that's what they're going for. Um, this corner here has seen some better days. I mean, that is just, look, look how lovely. Look, here's Indy. How's it going? Are you having fun? Yeah. You having fun? How's the bed? Is it comfy? Yeah, I bet it's not, but okay. All right, so we've got the plasma and an armoire over here. Don't really know that's an armoire. And then there's just this nothing. And then this, and then we were having trouble with the TV. TV remote here. This is nice, by the way. This thing is like, we're good. Um, it just doesn't do anything. So I thought, well, let's let's figure that out. So it was power button, nothing. So then I thought, well, maybe one of these is the power cord. And I was like, oh, look, it's not plugged in. So then I thought, but why is it not plugged in? So then here we've got this modern kitchen combo here. We've got the large fridge and the microwave. What do we got here? It's called a micro fridge, but it's a microwave. Okay, you decide. So then I came down here to investigate where we need to plug in. And this is what we're working with where the microwave goes. So it looks like they just, they're just, I don't even understand. Like there's not even a plug left. So my only option to plug the TV in is to sacrifice my micro fridge microwave or my fridge or this power station here, I guess, inside of the desk. I don't I don't know what this is, but we're gonna pick, I think we're gonna lose the micro fridge microwave thing here. There's that flood, let's see what we can do. Which one's the microwave here? The microwave's hiding down here at the bottom, so we'll just, Try not to get shocked to death. But if there's something questionable on this piece of electrical wire, I don't know what that is, but you just, let's just look, you put in the comments what you think that used to be. Let me know. All right. Let's see. Does the TV work now? And is it still, does it still not work? Button here. So maybe the plug doesn't work on the bottom? And maybe that's why? 
So what's this blue cord go to? Okay, and what's this go to? Okay, so that's the actual box that controls the TV. So we can't have that unplugged. This wire goes to this desk. So we're just gonna lose, all right, we're gonna lose the wire that had, oh, and I touched that thing that was on there. I touched it. Ah, oh, God. So we're gonna lose that. And yeah, I'm gonna burn my finger off. Here we go. Let's try this again. This is real good. Real good. Let's try this again. So, nothing still. So our Plasma's TV doesn't work. We've just troubleshooted that together as a team. You guys and me found a place to put my hat. It's on this lampshade. Maybe I'll wake up in the middle of the night and be scared for my life. Uh, over here, we've got our AC. This thing is nice. We got that thing cranked down to frozen levels. Uh, here's the window. We got a big giant bird crap on there. That's cool. That's nice. This window actually opens too, by the way. When's the last time you were in a hotel that had a window that opened on the second floor? So just jump out to my death. And then, uh, yeah, here's the bed. I mean, we didn't really show the beds, I guess. We've got some lovely villa style artwork here that makes me feel like I'm in Tuscany. And a couple of really yellow lights. And then what do you got? Um, um, I can do a new trick. What do you, you have hepatitis? I, I know, I know how to do a new trick. What's your trick? I had to do a Catch flesh eating bacteria? That's a pretty good trick. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think of the hotel? It's good. I can do it. You think ready. it's good? Hey, did you see the old uh, smoke alarm there that probably doesn't work? That's cool, right? Yeah. Hey, look what I can do. I can I'm see. looking. Don't worry about that remote because it doesn't work anyways. Okay. The TV's probably fake anyways. Yeah! And over here, we have got a really, really nice high-end alarm clock. This thing looks, I mean, it's modern contemporary. It's got the digital display, battery back up, General Electric Retro. Oh, did you, it kind of rattles a little bit. Looks good, got that. And then your classic hotel phone, which, you know, this thing is just, uh, just such a lovely, crawling with all the filth that you could ever want. Um, so I guess we're gonna call and find out about the TV not working now. So that still is not working. I think, I think that's probably the clue. What's the clue? It's like, it's like these things right here. Yeah, that's where you plug in like an old VCR, which I'm actually shocked isn't in this room. All right, so now we're gonna call the guest services. Does it auto call or do I have to press something? I just touched this to my ear. Did you see that? There we go. There we go. Yes, hey, how's it going? I am in room 228. Um, I don't think our TV works. Um, Okay, thank you. So, she kind of already knew, I guess, that the TV didn't work. Would have been cool if they would have just told us, unless the room is mic'd and they can hear me talking trash. All right, so the TV works now. So apparently what you had to do is you just have to like jam your finger into the side of the TV as hard as you can while simultaneously smashing on the power button on the remote control and then it comes out of sleep mode. Rack. And the Mr. Coffee, this thing here can make five cups. And we've got our Mountain Blend decaf. And Mountain Blend, 100% ground Arabica coffee. And our Sunbeam Green Sense hair dryer. Looking good. Here's the elevator. So 
if I'm in the elevator. If this thing starts to close, normally, if you just stick your arm out, it'll stop. Not here. Like it really hits you really, really hard. Tidbit of information here at the day's end. Button. Enjoy your stay, yeah. No smoking, yeah, we just cross that out. This is smoking here. Alright, so I just checked out of the days in. Look, the Y doesn't even have it doesn't even work. So that was the days in in Amarillo, Texas. Thanks for watching. Never stay here. Have a great day.